night, stopped after about 250 miles. I don't know, I drove in the sun facing me all day. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Look at that beautiful sky. Making dinner now. First night on the road for the big long road trip. Yay. You can always go back and uh, watch my week long road trip to Texas where I stopped at rest areas and really showed you a lot of details. That's in the playlist. Road trip to Texas. So head out tomorrow, probably around, I don't know, 10, 11. I just mosey a little bit. I'm in no hurry. So, first night on the road at the rest area. Hope you'll join me. coming along. This video show is going to be quick snippets of my travel across the country. So that's my view for tonight. Here's my dinner. Yay for dinner. This ham I bought for Christmas, but Robbie invited me Christmas Eve, her and her husband, and uh, so I had leftovers. So I just froze the ham and brought some along. Woo! We got a busy, organized mess here. And there's the bedding. I'm ready to put my feet up, enjoy my dinner and the view and call it a night. See you in the AM. Good morning, day two. Here at the rest area. Beautiful night's sleep. It's about 9.30 on my second cup of coffee. Going to have a little breakfast, piece of pie that was frozen from home, and tropical fruit. And I've been busy organizing. I need to go back and watch the last show where I was packing up, but I have dismantled the gray fabric box and I also have just tucked the shoes in a couple places and replaced that gray bag there with sweatshirts. So easy access. Back here is long johns and some tops for nighttime. Here's my bedding. Underneath here is jeans and some pants. Here's a pair of shoes that I'll be wearing when I'm volunteering. And then I've got my dresses and some summer and those tops that have sayings on them. So th stuff that I'm not needing readily. And then here's my easy access bags and two tucked over here, actually three. I've got socks in here instead of a big old plastic bag that you can see through. And then I've got um, some miscellaneous tank tops and uh, undies and stuff in these two bags. So I'm really excited how nicely this is all put together. This is most likely going to be a two-part series of my travels to Arizona and I'm not going to be naming locations but I am going to show you highlights. There's Happy Haven so you get a perspective. I'm going to show you highlights of each rest area rather than uh, a walk-through overview. And today I am really impressed with this picnic area. This is across the way, closer to where the truckers are, but there are pavilions, two way up close there, which I think is lovely. Access for the truckers, very thoughtful. And then down below is one. It looks like there's parking spaces on the other side here. Maybe this is a remodel and uh, because there's a do not enter to get down below here. Or maybe in the summertime when it's busier. I don't know. There is security here. There's a security building. Beautiful welcome center. And uh, as you travel across the country, you'll find lovelies everywhere you go. So 
This is today's highlight, these little picnic pavilions. Perspective here, over there is the Welcome Center. People pulling in now. And I'm gonna be hitting the road. Look at all of this beautiful grounds. I am really stoked now. I wasn't feeling it yesterday, but soon as I get out here and get to traveling, I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely in my element now. We'll show you where I land tonight, and each day I'll give you a little recap. Pine cones. <laughs> Tempting! I did that before, and then I didn't do anything with them. Oh my gosh. Love nature. Three. There's the view. With a messy windshield. Got a neighbor, I think, just pulled up recently. At least they left one space between us, right? I'm snug as a bug here. Snug as a bug. Good night's sleep. Still got my shades up. Right now I'm gonna do my morning Bible routine. I'm in Samuel chapter 17. I read a couple chapters every day, at least I try to. And uh, got my coffee made. Yesterday I knocked it over when I had about an inch left. Not good. I can only remember ever doing that one other time and I think it was just hot water, very hot water. So that will be on my mind. I did 242 miles yesterday. I plan on doing oh, probably over 300 today. Traffic noise to lull me to sleep last night. And then later on came the rain. It was even better. Highlight. What do we got here? It's a double decker. The parents at one table and the kids being giddy and laughing and having fun at the other. I would say that's a highlight. Woo! Many pavilions around here. Very, very nice. Can you imagine if you came here and this was all filled up, what joy that would be? Just people picnicking, enjoying themselves. The simplicity of life. We go back here. Truckers are pretty far away from the cars. Although I like truck noise. Just not right in my ear. And I guess you could say a real bonus here is this area is under 24 hour live and recorded video surveillance. There's your safety. Gonna head on down the road now. It's almost nine o'clock. Getting an earlier start today. I've got an order to mail, so I've gotta find a post office. Thank you very much. If you're from this channel. And, um, yep. Just keep going and show you more as I go of the highlights. I stopped at a gas station and mixed up my salad here for dinner. I've got about 70 miles left to go. I'm starving. I didn't have a big bowl. <laughs> so I just emptied one of my water jugs and made a bowl. You gotta love it, right? Poked a little hole in it and so that it would, uh, so I could get the scissors in easily. And there you have it, guys. If you ever need a bowl on the road. Butter bread, back on the road. Destination, rest area. Day four, I'm in Texas. And it's a big open field. No, that's not the highlight. Although I do like big open fields. It's little bench areas. Look how sweet. 
There are three of these along the walkway here. There's one over there. So nice. Get up early in the morning, have your coffee, and see the sunrise. Look how sweet. absolutely love this open view here. And then a double highlight here today, a playground for the kids to burn off their energy while driving long distance. This lovely paved walkway goes all the way around. This is a small rest area. There was probably only Know, three or four of us here last night along with the truckers. Cactus! Yay! We're getting close to the desert. To the real desert. And there's another seating area. So that'll about do it for this show. Day four. I did 375 miles yesterday. I'm planning on 300 today. I'm going to be taking my time, probably two or three more days till I actually get to port site. So with that, I hope I will see you there. And as always, blessings in your day and joy wherever your journey may take you. Stay tuned for part two as I continue my way to Quartzsite. Don't forget, watch for snakes. They're watching you. This video is after the fact, of course, I'm already there. There's the truckers. And I am going to be um, taking a week off and doing, I have three shows planned when I was back at the tiny house after, after, or during the Christmas season. So I hope you enjoy those and then we'll pick it back up again in Quartzsite and I'll be doing some tours and meeting friends and showing you day in the life. I even have planned to do a my 10 essential basic items to take on the road. So I'm going to I'm going to do some blast from the past shows to bring people up to speed who don't want to search for them in the playlists. All righty. Later. It's open 24 hours. That's a secure feeling. We go round and round here. These are fun signs. Very fun. One piece of trash here. He has to go picking up people's cigarette butts. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. Two more things. Look how cute. They always have awesome displays in the Texas rest areas. Bonus! Wonder when that was. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. So cute. And a beautiful view. See you in the next show.